When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound, like the blowing of a violent wind, came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now there were staying in Jerusalem God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment, because each one heard their own language being spoken. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, What does this mean? What does this mean? By the grace of God, we have come to learn the answer to that question. The pouring out of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost means that God's saving work in history has reached its climax through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and is now being implemented and announced through the working and life-giving power of the Holy Spirit. Whew. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that God cares deeply about this world. It means that the death of Jesus Christ on our behalf cleanses us so thoroughly that God is now able to dwell with us, in us, through the Holy Spirit. It means the power of God that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is now at work in us so that we might experience the newness of what God is doing in Jesus even now. And it means that God's redemptive work in this world is now on the brink of completion, meaning that we have good news to celebrate and good news to share. Thus, the day of Pentecost was an enlivening day that ushered the church into an enlivening era, and that's an era in which we continue to participate today. And so God greets us and says grace to you and peace from God our Father and from Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So as to acknowledge our welcome of the Holy Spirit in our lives, the Westfeld family will lead us now in an opening prayer. Spirit of the living God, visit us again on this day of Pentecost. Come, Holy Spirit. Like a rushing wind that sweeps away all barriers. Come, Holy Spirit. Like tongues of fire that set our hearts aflame. Come, Holy Spirit. With speech that proclaims the good news of Jesus in every language. Come, Holy Spirit. With love that crosses the boundaries of race and nation. Come, Holy Spirit with power from above to make our weakness strong. Come Holy Spirit, amen. And now would you join us in song as we continue to invite the Holy Spirit, fill us with life and power of God through Jesus Christ. <laughs> 